My name is Paul Apostolidis. The work that I do brings together critical social theory and the stories that migrant workers tell about their conditions of work in everyday life. The point of doing this is to generate new insights about how neoliberal society works and how people can join together to challenge entrenched systems of power. That's the connection to social justice that arises right out of the work that I do. Trying to bring these themes together involves an interesting and complex set of challenges. Some of the challenges involve what I like to think of as a very dense and robust kind of reciprocity between researchers and the organizations of the people among whom we do our research. Reciprocity means on the one hand, being very attentive to the practical needs of those organizations. What do those organizations need in order to be able to thrive? Is it extra help with translation? Or people just to show up at meetings or even marches that they hold? At the same time, there's a dimension of this work that's so crucial, which is intellectual reciprocity. That means listening to the stories that workers tell about their circumstances and looking in those stories for the kinds of terms that can invigorate and rejuvenate the terms of critical theory. And for me, that means listening as attentively as I can to the themes that ordinary people articulate as they talk about their circumstances of working in the informal economy and under extremely oppressive conditions. When we listen to those themes, it gives us a basis for re-articulating the ideas that we already have through critical theory, so that we're not just repeating the same ideas, but coming up with new and more vigorous ways of articulating what it is that needs to be changed in society and how different groups could work together to make those changes. I couldn't be happier than I am to be part of this community of scholars researchers, activists, students here at uh, the ISJ. Uh, it's really like no other place that I've seen in the academic world or in the world in general. I think what I appreciate most is the way that people come at each other's problems and questions from so many different angles. We're not all thinking the same things by any stretch, and we have very different forms of expertise. We're immersed in different bodies of literature. It's also the fact that people are here from all over the world and come from so many different global contexts, which really makes possible the generating and the nurturing of a global community of scholars in a way that I just feel privileged to be part of.